I'm a biological oceanographer and I use satellites as a primary tool for studying microbes in the ocean. You know, it's difficult when you're doing biological oceanography not to think about climate change, oceans playing the role that they do. The problem we have now is that uh, we are producing CO2 and putting that into the atmosphere at a rate that is much bigger than ever before. It's not the amount, but it's the speed at which we're doing it. If we don't reduce our carbon dioxide output, we will die. Some of us might survive, but uh, life on Earth as we know it will be over, I guess. So we are trying really hard to reduce our emissions, but we are not doing it fast enough. So one idea is to capture CO2 in the atmosphere and sequester it, which is essentially means take it away from contact with the atmosphere to buy time. One of the methods that are being experimented with right now to do carbon capture or carbon sequestration is by sinking sargassum. Sargassum, we, we call it a seaweed. It's a perfectly wonderful plant that grows on the surface of the ocean. The Sargasso Sea is called the Sargasso Sea because that's its natural habitat. And in the Sargasso Sea, it's basically a biological hotspot. One way I think about it is maybe like a upside down coral reef that's floating or a floating rainforest. But something happened in 2010, 2011. This new population of sargassum, it just showed up one day in the tropical Atlantic. So folks that live on the windward islands of the Caribbean say it just filled up their bays and they'd never seen anything like that before. When the sargassum washes up on the beaches and it decays, it emits hydrogen sulfide. It smells like rotten eggs. It smells like sewage and it is disgusting. It makes you gag, it really does. You can see the leaves, the leaves here. And then perhaps you can also see what look like spheres. These are nematocytes. Uh, these are essentially gas-filled nodules that gives it buoyancy. And these form massive rafts. So each raft could be in the order of 200 to 300 meters. These are visible from space. So sargassum is a plant, right? And it does photosynthesis, which basically means that it takes up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and converts it into this organic matter, just like a tree. The idea is that if you collect the sargassum offshore in ocean depths that are about 2,000 meters and you sink them to the seafloor very quickly, then you would be taking up the carbon dioxide that was fixed and that is making up this biomass and basically put it out of contact with the atmosphere for about 100 years. The key to sequestration is to actually sink it rapidly to a depth that is below 2,000 meters. Our oceanographic models show us that um, water from that depth in this region does not get ventilated back to the atmosphere for at least 100 years. The hope is that 100 years from now, we'll actually have reduced our emissions in a meaningful way, but we might also have better methods for capturing it for more permanent store solutions. And then for me also is important that we understand the environmental impact of what you're doing. If you're trying to save the earth, it doesn't really make sense that we'll kill life as we know it in the process of trying to save it.